all right hello and welcome everybody so in today's video we're going to be going over higher order functions specifically filter reduce map and compact map so what is a higher order function so a higher order function is a function that does at least one of the following it takes one or more functions as arguments or it returns a function as its result if this doesn't make sense right now don't worry it'll start to make more sense as we go through some examples. So what does each one do? So filter, it returns an array containing in order the elements that match and include the condition. Reduce, it returns the result of combining the elements of the sequence using the given closure. So in other words, it combines all the items in a single collection to create a single new value. Map, it returns an array containing the results of applying a mapping or transform function to each item. So also in other words, it will loop over a collection and apply the same operation to each element in that collection. And compact map, it returns an array containing the non-nil results of calling the given transformation with each element of a sequence. So this will return you an array However, it won't contain any nil values because they're going to be discarded. So if you're working with optionals, this is going to be very useful. And what is the advantage? Well, it all comes down to cleaner and more concise code. Now that we have all this out of the way, let's get to some examples. All right, so let's go over filter first. So as we can see here, we have an array of random names. And if we want to filter out a specific name here, Here's what we would do. Let's do a for loop. So for names in name array, if name is equal to Tom, then we would append it, but let's, we have to create a new array here. So let's do filtered array, and it's going to contain strings, an array of strings, and filtered array dot append names. And then we'll print out that filter array. And it works, right? We print out Tom. Tom is written here three times. So I mean, that's fine and all, but we can make this a lot shorter. So let's go ahead and comment this out. And then we'll do let filter array is name array dot filter. And we just hit enter here. Then we could do name of type string is going to be, and then for this placeholder, we'll just do return name is equal to Tom. And then if we go ahead and print this out, you can see we get the exact same result in just three lines of code, but we can make this even shorter. So let's go ahead and do the same thing, filter array is name array dot filter and we'll get rid of the, that those parentheses and all that placeholder and we'll just do return dollar sign zero is equal to tom and then we're going to print out that filter the array again and we get the exact same result all in a single line of code compared to making a brand new variable and then doing a for loop, we saved ourselves a couple lines of code. Now you may think that's not a lot, but when you're working on a bigger project, when you're working with hundreds and hundreds of lines of code, it can add up. So keeping your code nice and simple and in one line is going to save you time and it's going to make it a lot more readable. So let's go a little bit more into detail about how this part works. Okay, so here we created a new constant. So let filter the array is name array, which is where we named our variable up here using the dot notation to get filter. And then afterwards we have our closure and all we're going to do is return dollar sign zero or dollar sign zero is just a shorthand argument is equal to Tom. So pretty much it's going to go through this elements that we have here in our array and compare each one to the condition that we gave it. Because remember, that's all a filter is. It pretty much is going to return an array of any values that satisfy the condition that we gave it. And the condition that we gave it is that if it's equal to Tom, return it. If it's not, don't return it. 
and that pretty much wraps up filtered. So the next higher order function that we're going to dive into is going to be reduce. Okay, so over here, we're going to do an example of reduce. So I have a number array and a string array, we're going to do the number array first. So let's say we want to add up all the elements here. So this is going to total out to 75. Now we can do a for loop, but again, just like we did with filter, there's a much easier way to do this. So we'll do let total equals to number array dot reduce, and we have to give it an initial value. And we're going to give it an initial value of zero, and then we'll use the add operator, and we'll print out the total. So we have a output of 75, just like we have here. Okay, so let's dive into what's going on here. So what's pretty much happening is that it's taking all the elements of this array and combining them or reducing them. So behind the scenes, it's pretty much saying this initial value of zero and plus five plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 and it's going to return us a single value, the result of it. So if we were to change this to 10, it's pretty much going to say 10 plus five plus 10 plus 15. So now this should be 85 now instead. And we can prove that here because now we have 85 here. And it can work multiple ways, it can work with multiplication also. So we were to put in zero, and then a multiplication. So it would now be saying zero times, you know, all this stuff here. And we know zero times anything is going to be zero. So we print this out. We now have zero here. So that's pretty much how the gist of how it works. And it can also work with strings as well. So let's take a look at that. So if we want to combine these strings together, we can just do something similar like how we did in numbers. So we'll do let string is string array dot reduce an initial value of an empty string and then just add a plus and we'll print out that string and it'll do string concatenation for us as it's going to put all this together so if we see, as we can see here we got tom joe amanda and we can add something right in the beginning so we can put in combined names And then we'll put combined names, Tom, Joe, Amanda. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for reduce. Again, it combines all the elements in the collection and it's going to return to you a single new value. So now with that out of the way, let's move on to map. Okay, so in this example, I went ahead and created a struct with three properties. So we have name of type string, movie of type string, and year of type int. And I went ahead and created five instances. So I have actor, Heath Ledger, The Dark Knight, and the year the movie was released, so 2008. Another one for here, Leonardo DiCaprio, Inception, year 2010. And I added them all to a single array. So let's say we want to know how old we were when each movie was released. So with map, that makes it really easy. So we can do let age of type int is actors dot map and then right here we can just do our open close and then do return dollar sign zero dot year and let's say we were I don't know born in 1970 and then we can just go ahead and print out our age. And we see here, so we were 38 years old when The Dark Knight was released. And then we were 40 years old when Inception was released. 24 when The Shawshank Redemption was released and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and look at one more thing here and that's dealing with optionals. So in the event that we're dealing with optionals, and one of our values is nil, that's when we will use compact map. So let's go ahead and comment this out. 
and let's make the year an optional integer and we'll create a new instance of actor so let actor six is actor and i don't know this person would just be i don't know joe schmo and he has a new movie coming out called um adventures with joe but the thing is we don't know when this movie is going to be released so we'll leave it at nil and we'll just add this to an array so if we want to get the release date of every movie but ignore all the nil values that's when we will use compact map so we can do let movies with release date is actors dot compact map and we would do dollar sign zero dot year and we can just go ahead and print this out so as you can see here all of our movies are here in the array minus the one with the nil value and if we were to change this and actually give it a value of let's say 2015 well now it's part of our array because it's no longer nil so that does it for today's video hopefully you see the benefits of higher order functions and how they can help reduce your code into a single line and just make it a lot more cleaner and a lot more readable so just to recap filter will loop over a collection and return an array containing only the elements that match the included condition reduce will combine all the items in the collection to create a single new value map will loop over a collection apply the same operation to each element in that collection once it's done it will return an array containing the results and compact map will return an array containing all the non-nil values so any nil values will automatically be discarded so that does it for today's video if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below any future videos you would like to see